Alright, hey guys, um, this is going to be an update for my turbo swap that I did. Um, 2003 Dodge 2500 with the Cummins diesel. Ended up putting a HE351VE, that's the variable vane uh, turbo off the new 6.7 liters. So, this wiring harness right here is from Steve Dolan. Um, this is his latest wiring harness. Um, pretty much the same as what I had on there. There's a couple little different uh, differences here and there with grounds and stuff like that, but uh, pretty much the same. Um, the only exception is on this end. Um, this is going to be for your exhaust brake. Got a knob there and these two wires here. It's actually supposed to have a toggle switch on there and I'll explain to you why I cut the toggle switch off. Um, but the biggest difference is on this new one is it has a USB connector on it and um, what that does is you actually download a software and you can change all your parameters online I'm sorry on the computer um, here is the older one this guy right here uh, this is what I used to have in the truck to um, change everything. So that's all changed now. I actually removed this from the vehicle and uh, it's all going to go through uh, Steed's new software and everything gets uh, calibrated through this one USB. Um, cool thing is uh, diagnostics and um, calibration where uh, before you didn't have anything. You, you just had the three knobs and the exhaust brake, so that's all all the options you had. Well, now you can um, actually calibrate it uh, with this new software, so I'm pretty excited. Um, just a brief uh, update. Um, mine wasn't... After I got the, the swap all complete, it worked okay, but I, I was never really 100% satisfied with it and um, just thought maybe my expectations were a little too high for it. But come to find out, I believe the turbo I bought was a rebuilt unit from a diesel place, and um, it needs to be calibrated. And I never had to calibrate it, so um, there's only like three people I'm aware of that can do it in the United States. So um, I don't think it was ever right. Um, so anyway, now with Steed's new software and his new harness, now I have the capability of uh, calibrating my own turbo and hopefully that'll make things right because I heard this combo is a pretty nice setup. Um, so hopefully that'll fix my issues that I was having. Basically my exhaust brake never really worked and my turbo was just real real laggy uh, coming up to coming up to speed. So doing my five speed swap and then putting this turbo on I mean almost made the truck undrivable. So EGT just skyrocketed. So anyway, um, so there's the new harness, and so here's the reason why I cut off his toggle switch. Um, this was the original button he had for his exhaust brake, and really nice button, all stainless. Um, had a blue LED ring that you can uh, know when it's on or off. Um, so with his new kit, it was just a toggle switch no indicator light telling you if your exhaust brake is on or off. This knob adjusts how much exhaust brake you want from 0 to 100% exhaust brake. So, um, being out, you know, thinking outside the box, want to be a little different, what I'm going to do is here is the centerpiece out of my truck. And I've already cut, this is like, I don't know, maybe 20 gauge um, steel. Um, I cut it to fit where the original, um, there's like a little pocket right there, whatever to put stuff on. Um, that's where I had this remote unit sitting. And I never really had it mounted. It was always just kind of floating around in there. And then I had all the wires come up through this little cutout right here. So, um, real quick and easy, just cut out a piece of uh, plate. And uh, that's where I'm going to mount my new exhaust brake button on and off, um, the exhaust brake knob so I can adjust how much exhaust brake I want, it'll sit somewhere right there, 
And then for the USB, um, what I ended up finding, I found it on Amazon, it's, uh, one of these, it's called a panel mount. So I end up drilling a hole. So it's basically going to be the three of these in a row, all the way across. So of course exhaust brake will be closest to me. Um, I can, I'm going to have this in the middle. Um, I pretty much show the same trailer all the time in the same weight, so I should be able to uh, adjust it and kind of leave it alone. And then three have my USB over here. So this USB, what I had to do is it comes with a mail. And obviously his is a male too. So just got a female to female USB that's an A type on both sides. So that'll plug into there, that'll plug it in there. This will all behind the be behind the dash. I'll probably put a piece of heat shrink wrap over it so I don't uh, it doesn't vibrate loose, you know, after driving it. And uh, I'll just have this hanging out. So I can plug right into there. Um, and adjust all my parameters and calibrate it. So, and then here's his, this is actually the brains of it. This is his controller. This is what you're, you're buying right here. So, um, just got it back today from him. He had to reflash it to his latest uh, version. And um, that's it. So, I'm going to start putting this in. Like I said, it's basically the same harness I took out. Um, all plug and play. Everything goes in. Here's for the turbo itself. Um, has a nice heat protecting uh, sleeve on it. And the only wire I have to hook up, let's see, it's this white one right here. And uh, I don't know if you can see that. That just goes to key on. So it looks like an 18 gauge wire. Um, just uh, gets 12 volts when you turn the key on, and that's it. So uh, everything else plugs right in. I got. For my pressure sensor, my 50 pound Honeywell pressure sensor, he actually runs that same connector on it, so that plugs in. Everything's good to go. So um, here's the old one I got already wrapped up in the box. So I already have the old one out, and uh, go reinstall this new one. And um, I got to finish uh, doing my dash. So basically, here I'll show you just a little more. Um, all told and in is the original um, piece right here. So I'll end up getting a little air saw and just kind of cutting this away. It's just a flat plate and I'm just pancaking it between this and the actual dash itself. So real quick and easy. I don't know if you can see that. So anyway, so I got to trim that down, drill three holes in the face of it get all this mounted. Um, what I want to do too is uh, since I have a couple extra plugs from his old kit uh, you can't have a plug on the back of here these are all soldered on terminals so what I'll do is I'll end up stealing a plug from the old harness and redoing some of these wires I gotta change this resistor because my voltage has changed and uh, I'll put a new connector on it so that way It'll be mounted in the dash, and if I ever need to re remove this piece again, um, everything will unplug. This can unplug, my USB can unplug, and uh, the knob, wherever it is. The knob, I can just take the knob itself off and then loosen the nut, and that'll stay. Just in case I ever need to maintenance, uh, maintain anything or service anything back there. So. Anyway, that's the overview of what I'm going to do, so um, let me get going, see if I can get this kit installed, this new harness installed, and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so in the truck, um, got all the wiring harness um, installed, um, everything's buttoned up, got the terminations to the battery, um, I got my switch 12 volts hooked up, and uh, here's the harness that I've been messing with. So, here is the plug that I put on and this is actually off his old harness um, I like these um, Deutsch connectors they're pretty nice waterproof all that stuff so here's where my original red and orange wires I was showing you for the um, toggle switch that comes in the kit so um, I know the colors do change but like I said I was reusing his connectors, so 
um, just had to keep track of that. But uh, everything soldered and heat shrink wrapped and that pigtail goes up to my plug or uh, my button. So like I said once it's all said and done this will sit up in the dash like that. And uh, with everything working here's what it'll look like. Nice blue LED to tell you your exhaust brakes on when it's off. So came out pretty cool. Here's the knob and also the USB. So uh, anyway, one step closer. We're getting there. All right, here is the completed um, center part to the dash. Um, got my button and my USB mounted. Um, the center one will be for the knob, and uh, that doesn't unplug. That just sticks through, and with the nut, it comes on the face. So anyway, pretty cool. So here's the back side. So that's what I did is I cut this part off. So that was that big cup. And it just sandwiches that metal plate that I got between the actual um, bezel or whatever you want to call it. And that. And there's just four little screws right there that hold it in. So got my uh, plug hooked up to my button. And this will be for my uh, USB. That's that, and then, I don't know if you saw up here, but I have another USB port. I pulled my cigarette lighter out. That's actually for my head unit. So, I'm gonna have two USB um, ports in it. But, anyway, let me go um, put this in and go from there. All right, guys, well, here's the completed project with the new uh, upgraded turbo harness and um, exhaust brake and knob. And uh, I'll just go ahead and give you a uh, We'll walk around and show you what's up. So, let me fire it up. All right. So the cool part about this is um, when the engine is looks seems to be about 180 degrees uh, water temp or colder, um, I can do this uh, quick warm up feature and. If you hear that in the exhaust tone. So basically it closes up the veins, keeps it in like basically the exhaust brake mode, and uh, gets extra back pressure on the thing so the engine can warm up a little bit quicker. So. That's a pretty neat feature. Um, driving it around um, seems to work a lot better than what I had before. Now that I can calibrate it and do a span test to make sure it's in uh, perfect working order. Um, I've seen towing my trailer uh, about 35, 36 uh, pounds of boost max under the heaviest load conditions. So everything seems to be working out pretty good. Um, let me, uh, I'll go show you the exhaust and close up you can hear it. So here is the main reason um, for this whole update stuff. Um, this is Steed's um, interface, and this is how you change all your parameters now um, on the turbo. So like I was saying before, I used to have that little black box with the three knobs and the exhaust brake button mounted in the dash, um, where now I just have the button, knob, and the USB port. So that USB port is to plug into this. So this is his Steed's tech. Um, software that he made himself. So all you do connect to it. So right now it says it's operating so I have the key with the truck in the on position and it tells you everything you need to know. So if you go read you can see all my parameters that I have in here. So this is going to be my boost sensor. 
So I have a 50 pound boost sensor. This is my starting position. This is my ending position. This is how fast it gets from here to here. And this is my exhaust brake position. So you can go to monitor. You can monitor your boost pressure, your actuator load, turbo RPM, all the stuff, engine RPM, all the good stuff. VGT temp, that's going to be the actual board temperature. So it's quite a bit different, oh geez, quite a bit different than um, your actual water temperature sensor. And this is going to be your feedback position. So then you go to diagnostics and he has it for a couple different turbos. So since I have the HE351 right here, go to calibrate. And if you look up where that green bar is, you'll see it when it calibrates. So if you have any problems, like error codes or fault codes, you will see here, um, see them in the screen um, bar. So, and then you can do a span test. If you look at the span test, you'll have your commanded position, that's what the controller is telling the turbo to do, and you have the actual position, that's what the turbo is actually doing. These should be about one, um, one or two numbers uh, within each other. So if you do a span test, there you go. So as long as you watch it and everything's good, um, turbo's working normal. So back to the configure, if you change any values, just go ahead and press right, saves them all to the controller and you're good to go. So, all this other stuff um, is just for different, <coughs> excuse me, different, uh, <coughs> different applications and um, different turbos and stuff. So for the most part, stick with the uh, HE351. You can use all this and uh, it's really cool. So you can have it plugged in while you're driving around on a laptop and uh, um, monitor, test, do all the things you need to do. So it's really cool, a lot more a lot more involved than just that little black box. So, anyway, that will be the end of my video. And thanks for watching. And please leave a comment if you have any questions. And uh, thanks for watching.